Hello friends, welcome back to the series of lectures on automobile transmission and mechanism. I am Yash Mori from LJ Polytechnic Automobile Engineering Department. So, in the previous lecture, we discussed about various layouts used in automobile vehicle. Today, we are going to focus on powertrain. Well, the powertrain, as I said earlier, consists of various systems and subsystems like clutch, gearbox, and propeller shaft along with universal joint. Today, we are going to focus on clutch. Now, the clutch consists of various types of clutch like diaphragm type clutch, centrifugal clutch and fluid plywood. But one of the most used type of manual clutch in modern vehicles is the diaphragm type clutch. Today, we are going to see that. But before we go into that, let us first understand the principle of clutch. Well, the principle of clutch is basically on frictional contact. Here you can see there are two shafts and two pulleys, pulley 1 and pulley 2. right? And they are not connected with each other. Now, if I rotate the shaft on pulley 1, the pulley 2 will not rotate automatically. But if I provide some pressure from the pulley 2 and make it come in contact with pulley 1, and then if I rotate the shaft, the pulley 2 will automatically rotate. Why? Because of friction or better yet, frictional contact. Well, this is the principle of friction clutch. Based on this principle, an equation is formulated that is T is equal to mu into W into R, where T is torque to be transmitted, mu is coefficient of friction, W is the axial load that is provided to make it combine in contact with each other and R is the radius of contact surface area. Now let us see the diaphragm type clutch. Here you can visualize the clutch housing and the flywheel. Clutch housing is directly mounted on the flywheel. Now, let us open it up and see the components of uh, clutch. First is release bearing, then diaphragm string, then is the pressure plate and the clutch plate. The function of release bearing is to actuate the diaphragm spring. Diaphragm spring on the other end is a bit different than conventional coil spring. It is basically a concave plate on which there are number of slits provided so that finger like construction is created. This finger like construction provides the elasticity of a spring. Then comes the pressure plate. Pressure plate provides the axial load to the clutch plate. And clutch plate also known as the friction plate is called is provided for the frictional contact between driver and driven. Now let us see the working of clutch. On the screen you can see when the clutch pedal is depressed the engine side shaft is rotating while the output shaft is not rotating and this is called the disengagement of clutch and when the clutch pedal is released both the shafts are rotating and this is called engagement of clutch. Further you can see when the clutch pedal is depressed by a foot lever mechanism release bearing pushes on the diaphragm spring which further actuates the pressure plate thus reducing the pressure provided to the clutch plate and this is called disengagement of clutch and when the clutch pedal is released you can see due to the spring force all the components returns back to its original position and this is called the engagement of clutch. Now let us see each component individually. First comes the flywheel. Well, the flywheel is basically connected on the left side to the crankshaft and is propelled by the torque developed by engine. On the other side of the flywheel is the surface on which the clutch plate or the friction plate comes in contact. Next is the clutch plate also known as friction plate. The friction plate connects to the flywheel via spline shaft also known as clutch shaft. As you can see on the screen, these blue colored springs are called torsional springs provided for dynamic stability of clutch. Over it is the friction lining material, sometimes it is asbestos, cork or leather provided for friction contact between driver and driven. Over it is the assembly of the diaphragm spring and pressure plate. It is directly attached on the flywheel using bolts. Now let us understand the actuation of diaphragm spring and pressure plate. Here notice on the screen from this side when the uh, pedal is depressed the diaphragm spring pushes on uh, the pressure plate via pivoting action thus the uh, pressure plate is moving to and fro causing engagement and disengagement of clutch. Well this is the working of clutch. And that's it from my side guys, do stay tuned for further videos.